Hey, hello, vanakkum. How are you guys? Hope you're doing well. In this recipe, we're going to see a superb, yummy kottu parota. It's not actually parota. Chapati kottu. You mean like the kottu parota is a different version with chapati. Out of this leftover chapati, we can make this yummy kottu parota. Let's subscribe to the channel and we'll jump into the recipe. Here we start with good amount of oil heating the pan and we'll add some snuff seeds that is uh, fennel seeds followed by a couple of red chilies turned into half and some finely chopped curry leaves. Add some good amount of finely chopped onions and some half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Here we saute for a couple of minutes. Throughout this recipe you need not to worry about adjusting any flame. It should be in high flame for sure. Then you can add half a teaspoon of garam masala. That is the only masala powder we are going to add it. Then couple of tomatoes finely chopped. That's it. These are all the ingredients we are going to saute for a while in high flame. Once the tomato gets sweat, if you require some more oil you can sprinkle a little more oil. Believe me, adding enough oil to this recipe will give you a super yummy texture. Add good amount of salt, season it in throughout the high flame, continue sauteing. Once the juice has got sealed in the tomatoes but shrinks on the sides, you can add the eggs. I am adding couple of eggs here. Since I am using two number of chapatis, so every single chapatis you count one egg for it. Cook the eggs thoroughly, similarly how you cook your scrambled eggs. So after the egg got cooked, you can add the finely chopped chapatis. Even you can tear the chapatis here and there and you can add it to this. Mix well, then we're gonna add the salna gravy. This gravy recipe, I gave the link in the description. And also when you buy chapatis from hotels, you'll get some kind of gravies. No, good to use that one. Then you can add some good amount of finely chopped coriander and mint leaves. And the one of the master ingredient we will not never miss when you make any kuttu parata, that is curry leaves. So add some springs of curry leaves, keep going with the high flame, toss it nicely use your fine cooking skills that is like toss it until it gets smoky that is how you're gonna cook your chapati kotu even any kind of kotu recipes right so once it gets nice and smoky look at the texture how it's gonna be it will be aromatic smoky tasty yummy for sure try this yummy recipe with your leftover chapatis and never ever forget to use a banana leaf underneath to serve this yummy piping hot kotu recipes even any kind of chat Patta South Indian recipes deserve some banana leaves underneath when you're plating the food. Even veg lovers, you can substitute the egg with the shredded paneer. It's super easy, isn't it? So try this recipe, share your feedback on the comment section and don't forget to share this recipe video to your chapati lovers, also those kottu parota lovers. You are still connected to this video. I thank you so much for watching. Please do consider subscribing and share my channel link to your foodie lovers. You are watching Tamil Chef. This is Chef Naresh signing off. Bye-bye.